Hi everyone, this is Yana Smakula. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing a look at yet another product from my Let's Celebrate collection with Spellbinders. So today we are looking at the Celebrate Flowers Registration Better Press Blade. So this is what I have on my desk here. So when you receive your product, I don't have the packaging here, unfortunately, but I have the products to show you. So when you receive your products and when you take them out of the packaging, this is what you will have in your packaging. You will have two better press plates. One looks sort of odd and funky, but never fear. I'll explain what this is and how to use it. And then you also have a registration template. It's this acetate sheet. I will mention right away that if you happen to lose this, because let's be honest, it's easy to lose. It's easy to misplace, you know, things that are printed on clear acetate tend to go missing all the time. So should you replace, uh, should you misplace this, you can download the same guide on the Spellbinders website. You can print it onto paper and use the paper guide instead. It will work just as well. So don't be afraid uh, that you might lose this. Okay. In the packaging, you have two plates and the plates are designed to be used together, but you can also use one of them, this Celebrate, you can use that separately. So the idea for these plates is to align them and press them one at a time using different colors of better press ink to create a multicolor better press result on your paper. The guides on the registration template will tell you how to align your plates. So on this template, the black line is for the celebrate and the green line is for the flowers. Let me quickly show you what these are meant to do. So here I pressed the celebrate in, I think that was strawberry ink. And then I pressed the flowers in azalea ink. So we almost have tone on tone look. I do have other examples that show you different colors of ink and also even some examples where I'm using hot foil. So let's go ahead and take a look at this plate in action. Here I have my better press letter press system. As you can see, it's been well loved and well used. By the way, I will say that you can get replacement plates for your better press system. And I am looking for mine, trying to find them because I do have a clean better press. Okay, here I have a set of clean better press uh, replacement parts. So I'm just going to take these out and swap them for a clean set. Uh, I will also mention that sometimes I like to use and work just with two shims. Your better press system comes with three shims. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So the better press system comes with three shims, but if you find you're getting a little bit too much ink on your image, you can take one or even two shims out to decrease the pressure. This all depends on your die cutting machine, not even the brand of the die cutting machine, but your specific machine because every machine is slightly different. Okay, so here I have my magnetic uh, plate and I also have a clean platen. See, these two, uh, you can see that this one has been well loved and this one's almost new. Okay, first I'm going to tape a piece of better press paper onto my platen. I already have tape here, so I'm just going to peel it away, add my paper, and tape the paper in place. Okay, next we need to take our template and place it onto our better press system. By the way, Sometimes I get confused and I think that I'm not sure which side is the correct side. You might get confused as well. So if you're looking at your template and you're seeing the logo or the, you know, the text and you see that it is wrong, that means this is the wrong side of the template. So just flip it. And here you can see that this is the correct side of the template. Uh, this says BP000. That's because I am working with a prototype. Yours uh, will have a correct name. So never mind that 00 over there. Once you've placed your template onto the better press, use more tape to tape it in place. You want to make sure that this is not going to move. This can move, but this best if it's uh, if it's not moving, if it stays in place. Of course, you can also tape the magnetic piece in place as well. 
Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Sometimes I do that, other times I don't. It's just, you know, a matter of personal preference. Okay, so I've taped it, it sh now should not move. And I'm going to go ahead and place my celebrate plate onto the template. I'm using the black lines, the black guidelines, to help me align this plate on my better press. Now it's time to do some inking. I finally have some new inks from Spellbinders. I have Cruise and Teal Topaz. I think Cruise is the new one, Teal Topaz is the new one. Uh, they're just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous colors. I've started to swatch them. I haven't finished swatching because I want to do like a little swatch uh, sheet. So here I have Teal Topaz and this is Cruise. And I also have other colors. So let's see what other color might be a good one for this. I don't know, is this Azure a good one? What do you guys think? Or maybe Hydrangea. I think Hydrangea would be a better color. So let's do three colors. So even though this is one plate, you can either ink it up using one color of ink, or hey, you can use three different colors like I will do here. I'll use Cruise, Teal Topaz, and Hydrangea for the three sections of the plate. It's very easy to do. You just ink it up. And when you do your inking, remember that you tap and turn, tap and turn. And by the way, I do have another video on my YouTube channel introducing the Better Press registration, talking about the Better Press registration, sharing tips and tricks and best ways to use it. I am using other plates from Spellbinders in that video, but I do encourage you to check it out if you are new to Better Press registration and if you'd like to learn more. So I'm almost done inking. Now, better press plates, uh, you know, they're not like stamps. Uh, when you get a new stamp set, you kind of need to prep your sta stamp to season your stamp so that you get the best result. You don't need to do that with the better press plates. They are ready to go as is. So here's my Platinum 6 die cutting and embossing machine. I'm just going to send this through to apply pressure and transfer that beautiful ink onto our paper. I forgot to mention that I'm using the Better Press paper. I'm not sure which color it is. I think that's the porcelain or it could be, could be bisque. Again, not sure. My, my inking was not exactly perfect, especially uh, over the L. I might try and do that again, especially since I taped this. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll see if this works or not. With the better press system, it's not the same as with the Misty. Um, it will not press in the exact same spot. So that's why we say that you should only send your better press system through your die cutting machine forward. Don't go forward and back. But because I taped everything, especially because I taped the magnetic piece onto my base, I think I should be okay. We will see. Okay, so I re-inked, I'm placing the platen on top, I'm going to grab my die cutting machine and try this one more time. My desk is once again a mess because I was working on one project and then I had to pause and switch because I wanted to film this video, so yeah. Okay, yeah, it actually pressed really well. I like how the color built, especially at the bottom here with the hydrangea color. Ooh, so good, so good. Okay, so we have our first layer pressed. I'm now going to remove this plate. By the way, I have a little bit of ink here, so I can just wipe that using my finger or you can use a cloth to do that. And I wanted to mention that when you have these uh, registration templates on your better press system, they're actually protecting your system because you're not getting the ink directly onto the magnetic piece, which is kind of hard to clean. So uh, yay for that. Okay, so here is my second layer. And now I'm going to use the green line, the green guide to help me position and align this on the magnetic piece. I feel like it should go like this. Yeah, that looks good. And while this was a solid layer, this is an outline layer, which you can color. Think about what color of ink you would like to use so that you can then color these images. You don't have to color them, of course, you can leave them as is, but I want to show you 
the intention for this plate. So I will go ahead and use the better press, the better press black ink, and then I will color these flowers quickly uh, using probably some watercolor markers from my stash. Because remember, better press ink is not alcohol marker friendly, and it will it will bleed when it comes in contact with alcohol markers. So just keep that in mind. Now I was very messy when I was inking this place. I'm just going to try and wipe that ink away. Also trying to wipe as much ink from the plate itself because I did get some ink onto the plate and I have had instances where that ink transferred onto my card. So just keep that in mind when you're inking the tiny detailed flowers, make sure you do not over ink. Okay, now we're going to add our plate on top. The key to better press registration is don't flip your plate. Like don't go flipping your plate around because then you'll get confused and you won't get best reads. Also, if you've pressed the first layer uh, like this, make sure that's how you are positioning your plate onto the better press system for the next layer. Because I have done it and I have messed up my plates, uh, my, my uh, designs. Yeah, so I know. Let's take a look. Ooh, so beautiful. So you can see here that the flowers are designed to fill in the gaps in the letters. The layering or the, the placement is not 100% precise. You do have a little bit of wiggle room. If you want, you can even have your flowers overlap the letters slightly. That also looks fantastic. So now we can just use uh, some coloring medium to add color to these and enjoy our beautiful Celebrate card front. Another thing I wanted to mention that uh, in my collection, I've also added sentiments. Of course, I could never resist to have a good sentiment set. And when I was designing these sentiments, I added some skinny strip sentiments so that they could be added in between these letters. So you can either press, uh, here I have happy anniversary, for example, so you can press that in between the celebrate, you can press it, you know, once, uh, well, I would press it twice to have, oops, look, I got a black ink smudge. Well, that's okay. So you can press it twice, or you can also foil that. And I do have a card that shows the foiling on, on here. So we have the happy anniversary. There's also the happy birthday that fits here nicely. Then there's congratulations that fits in here nicely as well, and happy Mother's Day. And of course, you can always use sentiments from your stash. We all have a ton of those skinny strip sentiments that we have, so keep that in mind. You can fit a sentiment in here and that's going to look beautiful. In fact, let me grab my cup with the sentiments. Here I have some sentiments that are already pre-made. So you see, you can just add a sentiment banner this one does not exactly make sense, but I'm just showing this to you so you can get an idea of how you can um, use these. So either add a sentiment, uh, another layer with a sentiment on top, or do your sentiment directly on the background. Now you can always foil with your better press plates. And while it is very easy to foil with regular better press, it is a little bit more tricky to foil with a better press registration plates. In my previous video about the better press registration, I talked a little bit about foiling one of the layers. And then I mentioned that it's possible to foil all of the layers if you want, but it is a little bit tricky to do because you can't exactly use this registration template on your Glimmer and also Glimmer doesn't have this, you know, two component system where things snap into place exactly. So it's just a little bit more tricky when you're using Glimmer. I had a comment on my YouTube channel from Jan and she mentioned that you can create a template by running the better press plates through your uh, machine without any ink to create a blind impression. So that's actually brilliant. And by the way, blind letterpress or letterpress done without ink looks fantastic as well. So I wanted to show this in this video. I wanted to show you that you can use these plates or any other better press registration plates to foil. Um, in either one color of foil or multiple colors of foil, whatever you want. So first we need to make sure that we don't have any ink 
on our plates. And the way I like to do this is I just use a paper towel. I place it over my plate and then I run it through the die cutting machine. So I'm not exactly using the cleaner. There is an archival ink cleaner, which you can use. I do have it here. I do use it from time to time, but for, um, you know, for this, I kind of prefer my napkin method or paper towel method. So the paper towel, as you can see, it picks up the leftover ink from the plate. And I kind of like to do this several times, you know, depending of course on how much ink I have on my plate. So I will just run that through to get that cleaned. Yeah, this looks nice and clean. Next, I'm going to take my better press paper that is already attached. See, that's actually, that's why it's helpful to have two of these plates because you can use one uh, to clean and then you can use the second one to run it through, especially if you already have the paper attached. Anyhow, I digress. So just send this through to have a blind impression. Let's take a look. Yeah, ooh, this looks so good. I still have some ink here, but it's actually, oh my gosh, you know what? I actually really, really like the way this looks. I might not even do foiling over this. Wow, I wanted to show you how to do foiling over this, but I think I need to do another panel mm, to do foiling and just save this panel because it looks fantastic. I hope you can see this in video. Let me bring this closer. So very, very faint ink, just a little bit of ink. And I love how you can see the difference in paper texture. So. This paper has some texture, but then the pressed area is so perfectly smooth. Oh goodness, wow. Wow, love it. Um, okay, so I'm going to remove this plate. Now press my floral, uh, place my floral plate onto the better press. Take my napkin again, take my paper again, uh, or plate again. Send it through the machine to clean. Now black ink is a little bit tricky, of course, because it's so much darker. So for this one, you actually might want to use the cleaner. So I'm just going to dab some cleaner onto the plate and then use the paper towel to soak up any moisture that I have and also clean that up. So let's see. So that's another thing that I like to do if I am using the archival ink cleaner or any other cleaner, run it through my machine with the paper towel. Let's fold it four times this time. So run it through my machine with the paper towel to soak up any leftover moisture because I don't want to have that moisture on my paper, on my finished panel. I want my finished panel to be nice and clean. See, I still have a ton of a ton of ink there. So yeah, like I said, black is a little bit more difficult to clean. You might need to um, apply extra effort to get that cleaned. So let's go ahead and place the plate on top. Now, yeah, the plate with the paper. I always confuse these, uh, the parts of the better press system. So there's platen and there's chase. So I think platen is the clear plate, chase is the magnetic part, but I could be wrong. Guys, look at this. Wow. I mean, how can you not like this? It's just so delicate, so dainty. Goodness, I, I just love this. Wow. I don't know if I want to foil it. I probably should. I mean, yeah, I should foil it. So now the next thing that you would do of course, if you want to foil both, you can foil both. I will just show you how you foil one of the layers and the same technique will apply to the other layers. So you take your better press plate and now you place it onto the panel and now it sort of snaps into place because we've made that impression in the paper. The design is indented. This snaps into place. See, I'm using my finger to move it and it's not really moving. We now have it on the paper. It is perfectly aligned. Going to use a little bit of best ever craft tape. So we now need to pull this away a little bit. I'm going to use my favorite. This is the matte gold foil. I have now restocked all of my 
foil colors, my favorite foil colors, and I now have a bunch of gold again, like matte gold, you know, and pewter, because I really like those colors. So flip that back into place, use another piece of tape. And by the way, this paper, it does not need to be attached to the platen. I just had it there for uh, convenience because it was convenient to use it like this when I was attaching my, um, adding my foil. So my Glimmer Hot Foil system is nice and hot. Going to place this here, press the timer button, find my shims for the better press because I don't remember where I put them. Okay, I found my plates, so adding my plates on top. Now let me bring my Platinum 6 into the video frame. And we just need to wait for one minute for this light to stop flushing. And this is now good and ready. Taking this out of my Glimmer Hot Foil system, sending it through my Platinum. I did send it just forward. Get the Platinum machine out of the way, dock this, remove the plates, and I can't wait to see this reveal because I will say that I am trying this for the very first time. I thought about it, but ooh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is just so, so unique. So it's, uh, it's like the, the perfect clean and simple card. You just add a little bit, uh, you know, like an extra little sentiment. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Let's add that extra little sentiment. So these are my sentiments from this collection. And let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want to do happy Mother's Day? Do I want to do congratulations? Happy anniversary? I will just do happy birthday. Just, you know, plain and simple, nothing fancy. Um, I now need to align that on my plate and to help me do that, I need to secure the plate in place. And for that, because I am working on a magnetic, uh, on a on a metal mat, on a metal glass mat, I can use magnets to hold things down. So now my paper is not moving. Actually, you know what? I need to find my thin better press. Um, my thin yellow tape because I need to be very careful and I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to cut a thin strip and use a thin strip to secure that plate in place. The reason I'm using thin because I have foil here and I don't want tape going over that foil because it might pick it up. And I of course don't want that. So I just need to cut a thin strip of foil, slide that under, let's flip this away, yeah, okay. Place this here, use another piece of tape to tape it in place, and we're just going to repeat our foiling steps and send this through the machine to foil. Okay, let's take a look, ta-da, ooh, so good. So good, look at that detailed happy birthday. So pretty. I'm just going to foil this here at the bottom and I'll call this card done. Final reveal. Ooh, beautiful. This is just so stunning. I'm going to add a couple of photos here to show you some other card examples that I have created using the Celebrate Flowers Better Press registration plate. I absolutely love this set. I think it has a lot of potential. You can really do different things with it. You can press the different layers using different colors of better press ink. You can press and foil. You can just foil. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you have fun playing with this set and I can't wait to see what you make. You can find the links to all of the products I mentioned in this video and a link to my collection in the video description below. I would appreciate if you used my links when you're shopping. These are affiliate links and I do receive a small commission when you place a purchase, when you place an order using these links, but it costs nothing extra to you. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Love you guys and I'll see you next time.